Tavia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm really excited today to share this fun quilt with you. This is a little bit different than what I usually share. A lot of times I'm sharing my hand-guided custom machine quilting and walking you through my process of machine quilting custom quilts. But I do have the Statler Stitcher on my Gamel machine. And today I'm using my Statler Stitcher to stitch out this awesome design. Sometimes, in my opinion, quilts are better with an edge to edge design. You know, it just depends on what the purpose of the quilt is. If it's a quilt that's going to be loved and washed and used a lot, I like to do edge to edge quilting. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Now, this quilt does have a lot of bulk, a lot of excess fabric, and a lot of really bulky seams. So, I am using today for the first time my brand new spoon foot on my Gamel machine. So I'm gonna walk you through the process, talk to you a little bit about using this new spoon foot and why I love it so much. All right, so the batting that I'm using here today is one layer of the Quilter Stream wool. I am using some yellow so fine thread and of course, doing all my stitching using my Statler Stitcher. All right, friends, let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. Okay, so here's this fun quilt before I begin any of the machine quilting. Now, it's a little bit difficult to tell here, but the border on this quilt is a little bit wavy and there's a lot of bulk in the actual quilt itself that happens it's okay there are ways to work around that and work around the bulk that's exactly what we're going to do today okay so here's a few images of the quilt after my machine quilting is all complete i wanted to show these to you now so that you can really see how much you can work in excess bulk depending on the design you choose the batting you choose and the foot that you have on your machine so when i'm quilting a quilt that i know has a lot of excess bulk i like to choose a design like i'm using here a baptist fan or something that's a little bit looser and a design that doesn't have lines that cross over itself. The other thing I like to use is my spoon foot. So I have the new Gamel feet on my machine. If you don't have these yet, I highly recommend them. Really, just from personal experience, using a spoon foot on edge to edge quilting, especially quilting like this with a lot of bulk. Those intersections on all of the flying geese have big bulky points, so that spoon foot will glide right over that bulk so nicely. This quilting that you can see here is done using my Statler Stitcher. So yes, most often I am sharing work that is hand-guided quilting. I'm the one driving the machine. This is computerized quilting here. Like I said a second ago, the design that I chose, I chose based on something that I want to really be able to work in that excess bulk, the extra material in the borders, any places that normally I might get a tuck. So by using a loftier batting, the Quilter's Dream Wool here, that helps add a little bit of extra space and then using a design that doesn't cross over itself and leaves a little bit of space for excess fabric, excess material to be worked into. When I chose this Baptist fan design, even though I'm going a little bit looser, I do like to readjust the size of my design. So with this particular design, this is a larger quilt. I scaled the design down so that I never have more than one inch between my stitches. Now, that's kind of a rule that I've just created for myself. Most often, I never like to leave more than one inch between my spaces. I resize probably 90% of the quilt, the digital quilt designs that I quilt, make them a little bit smaller so that they fill in spaces completely or a little bit heavier. I feel like one inch spacing is enough where like this quilt, that excess bulk is going to be worked into it, but it's not going to feel so heavy that the quilt isn't going to stay soft. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to just chill, hang out, watch, kind of pretend that you're hanging out in my studio with me as we watch my Statler Stitcher stitch out this awesome design. 
If you have any other questions or are looking for more inspiration, do check out the Peace and Quilt Academy on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Right now we have over 90 exclusive videos where I share my process of machine quilting incredible quilts from start to finish. We also have the products that I'm using here today, the thread and batting, available on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.